second graders, it's Mrs. Burke here, and I want to go over a little bit more with the clock before we move on to our next unit. Um, today we're going to be talking about AM and PM. And if you look at a clock, you can um, see that it's divided into 12 hours. But as we know, one day has 24 hours. So what happens is that we end up going around a clock two full times in a day. So our clock or our day begins at 12 a.m. Or this can also be known as midnight. And it's going to make its way around the clock to every hour. So it's going to go around for 12 hours. Okay? So if I'm thinking about things I do during this time of day, right now it says 3 o'clock. But remember, our day started at midnight. So if I start to think about 3 o'clock a.m., that starts to get um, very, it's very late. And at 3 o'clock a.m. or 3 a.m., hopefully you'd be sleeping, right? And then the time will keep going and going. And then we get to this hour, especially if you're my son, right around here. And now we have 7 a.m. And this is typically when children start to wake up at 7 a.m., right? And then our clock keeps moving, time keeps moving, and maybe around 7.30, you're having breakfast with your family, a bowl of cereal, right? And then you're gonna quickly, if it's a school day, you might get to your bus stop, right? Because soon, eight o'clock a.m., we know that there's school. The bell rings, right? And the day keeps going, and around maybe 9.30, your teacher says, everybody stop, time for snack. It's 9.30 a.m. It's still that first 12 hours of our day. And then it keeps going, and we get to 11 o'clock, and maybe your teacher's doing a quick math lesson or a read aloud, right? And then comes a very happy time for second graders, 11.25. Who remembers what we do at Stewart School around 11.25 to 11.30ish? We go to lunch, right? So we're eating lunch around 11.30 a.m. But while you're at lunch, something magical happens. We've made it around our clock for all 12 hours. And now we're at 12 o'clock again. But if you remember the first time we went around the clock, it was 12 midnight. Now it's 12 noon, which means the next time around the clock, we are no longer in our AM time, but we are now in our PM time. And we're gonna do different activities in the PM. So right now at 12 PM, also I'm called 12 noon, you are usually outside playing recess. Okay, and then we come back in around 12, 15, and then maybe it gets to one o'clock, and maybe you go to gym with Mrs. Burke or Miss Boyd, right? And then the time keeps ticking, and then it starts to get around this time, 2.30. And your teachers are saying, all right, boys and girls, time to pack up. It's 2.30 p.m. Don't forget your backpacks and your homework assignment pads. We're getting ready to go home, right? And then by 2.50, all the students are on the bus or on the walker line. And then by three o'clock, a lot of us start to get home from school. So if you remember before we said at 3 a.m. we're all sound asleep, it's the middle of the night. Well at 3 p.m., we're all wide awake. We just got back from school. So you're probably sitting down right about now for a nice snack. And then maybe at four o'clock, your uh, family might say, start your homework, get your homework done before you can go out and play, right? And then the time keeps going and then it gets to about 5.45 or six o'clock and you hear, dinner time, everybody come to the kitchen, time for dinner. So at 6 p.m., we're eating dinner, right? And then comes seven o'clock and you might say, can I please watch a show? 
and your parent might say, first, take a shower. So it's 7 p.m. If you remember last time around 7.30, 7 a.m., we were waking up. Well, now around 7, 7.30, we're getting ready to go to sleep in the p.m. So we're putting on our pajamas, and then it's 8 o'clock, and you might have to brush your teeth at 8 p.m., and then around 8.30, or for some of you night owls, maybe even 9 o'clock, at 9 p.m., it's time for bed, right? And at 9.30, when it was 9.30 a.m., we were having our snack, now it's 9.30 p.m., and I think I just heard you snoring, because you should be sleeping, right? And we're gonna stay asleep, hopefully, all the way until we get back to that 12 o'clock. And now this 12 o'clock is not noon anymore. This time around, it is midnight again, okay? So I wanna take a look at, um, we're gonna label some clocks and just think about some things we can do in the a.m. and some things we can do in the p.m. and what time that would be, okay? So let's take a look at that. So let's start with things I can do in the a.m. So let's start in the early, early mornings of a.m. What I always think of is 12 a.m., which is the same as 12 midnight. And there's usually one thing we are all doing at 12 midnight, which is sleeping. Right? Now, what does that look like on a clock? I'm going to have my hour hand on the 12. Remember that one's smaller? But I'm also going to have my minute hand on the 12. And it is now midnight, 12 o'clock. And I'm going to add, this is AM. And I'm sleeping. Okay. So, 1 o'clock a.m., 2 o'clock a.m., 3 o'clock, you're still probably snoring away. So I'll probably start to wake up around 7 a.m., right? This is when I wake up. And on a clock, that's going to be my little hand, the hour is on the 7, and my long minute hand is up on the 12. So at 7 o'clock a.m., I'm just waking up. And next, around 7.30, let me adjust this, 7.30 I start to get hungry, and I'm going to eat breakfast. Right, I'm going to eat breakfast at 7.30 a.m. So on a clock, what that's going to look like, my hour is still 7, but let me think about my minutes first. I know this is my o'clock, so this will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I know my minute hand is definitely on the 30, but I'm remembering that I'm already halfway through the 7 o'clock hour. So my hour hand is going to be halfway between my 7 and 8 o'clock. So at 7.30 a.m., I'm eating breakfast. Let's do two more. How about what am I doing at 9.30 a.m.? I am having a snack. Right? Snack. So 9.30 is going to be similar to 7.30. My minute hand is going to be on the 30 minutes. And my hour hand is going to be halfway between the 9 and the 10, looking like this. So at 9.30 a.m., I'm usually having a snack. And now let me do my last time, which can be... Um, 11, let's do 11.25, and this is what I am. This is when we get ready for lunch, okay? So on my clock over here, I 
I know this is my o'clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So my minute hand is going to be right here. And now it's 11.25. So I'm a little bit past my 11, but not at my 12 yet. So at 11.25 a.m., I'm enjoying my snack. So this is what my a.m. morning might look like. And I bet yours looks similar. You definitely might have some other things you do that I didn't do in my morning, but things that are very similar. So now let's think about things I can do in the PM, okay? When I think about PM, my PM actually starts at 12 noon. So that's where I wanna start at 12 noon. And I wanna think about what am I doing at 12 o'clock noon? And I know at 12 p.m. or noon, as a second grader, I am always at recess. So this is actually going to look exactly the same on my clock as 12 a.m. I have my minute hands on the 12, and then my hour hands on the 12. Even though it switches from a.m. to p.m., it looks the same on a clock. Next comes, let's say, 1.30. And at 1.30 p.m. I'm still at school, but maybe I'm in art class with Ms. Pashayan, right? So I want to put that on my schedule. Art class with Ms. Pashayan, we'll put this over here. So 1.30, I'm going to go to my 30 minutes first, which is at 6. And if I'm at 1.30, it means I'm already halfway around the clock. So I'm halfway between the one o'clock hour and the two o'clock hour. So at 1.30 p.m., I'm at art. Then comes a fun time of day. I just finished school and I'm running off the bus. I get off the bus, All right? So this happens at 3 o'clock p.m. At 3 o'clock a.m. I was snoring away, but at 3 o'clock p.m. I'm wide awake and I just got off the bus, okay? Then we get to, let's do two more. We get to dinner time. What time do you think dinner is? What time does your family eat dinner? My family usually eats around 6.30 p.m. We sit down for a nice dinner here. And what does that look like? My minute hand is on the 30. And my hour hand is not going to be just on the 6 like it was here. Because at 6.30, I'm halfway between the 6 and the 7. So it's actually going to be right about there. So this is 6.30 p.m. when I'm having dinner. And finally, Mrs. Burke prays every night that she can be snug in her bed by 9 p.m. because I get tired. So this is usually my bedtime. And if you remember at 9 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. I was having snack. It's gonna look very similar on a clock. I ran out of clocks here. It will look similar to my snack time when I look at the clock, but it's 12 hours later. So it's going to be my hour hand is on the nine and my minute hand is on the 12. So this would be nine o'clock p.m. Okay, so I want you to think about what kinds of things do you do in the a.m. and what do you do in the p.m. All right, good luck, second graders. Have a great day.